So I've rubbed out um, a few of the little rough lines and tidied it up a little bit. So I'm going to start on the shading now. Um, I'm using a 2B pencil for this. And so I'm going to start with the eyes. Now what you need to do is kind of darken the very outside line of the eye side circle like that and then you can either do one of a couple of things you can either um, shade out in a bit of grey um, and bring out so I'm blocking it with my shadow then um, so just bring out a bit of a almost like a black eye effect around the eye um, or you can start by doing a kind of a rough scribbly line effect like this where it's made up of lots of little small rough pencil marks so I've started by doing that option wait zoom in sorry shadows going everywhere. If I zoom in you can see it's made up of lots of little pencil lines. Um, I've chosen to do that because if I um, were, I've got my eyebrows quite close to the uh, tops of the eyes, if I um, brought it out in grey and then tried to do that on top it would clash a little bit there. Um, but I will bring these little lines out just a tiny little bit more. And then we'll do the same again on the other side. Like so, and then um, we'll shade the nose next. So, just a light bit of shading on this triangular piece here, and then a little light bit on one side, just bring it up to the eye. Now, um, most characters um, in the sort of Tim Burton style tend to look quite pasty, so we don't actually need to put a heavy amount of shading on the face. Um, I'll put a little bit in a second, uh, just to bring in some highlights, and uh, then I will um, return. Yes a bit more shading in, um, just brought it out around the nose a little bit more, I've um, also darkened this line um, for the nose as well because that was getting a little bit lost, uh, see it's mostly falling on one side of the face and then at the top here, um, sort of you know by the hair line and where the hair starts um, and following under the fringe a little bit and then a tiny bit down here on the chin. Um, so what we'll do next um, is darken up the mouth a little bit. Just bring that a little bit darker. So that then blends in with the, uh, the rest of the features. And we'll um, start doing the uh, hair and eyebrows. The eyebrows, um, just gonna gently shade those. Just using 
fairly rough lines. We don't want to make them look too um, feathery again. Let's have a slightly waxy look. Do the same on the other side. And then we'll start with the hair. Um, so the best way to do the hair really is sort of the way most people actually do it. Um, and it's just long flowing lines going in the general direction you want it. Obviously depending what colour hair you've got. Depends how perhaps dark you want to shade it. Then bring up another line and so on and so forth. So I'll continue doing this and I'll come back again in a second. I've finished putting the hair in. Um so we've got these sort of darker streaky lines. What I'm gonna do now is um Gently fill in the lighter lines. This doesn't need to be perfectly covered. Let's see if we've got a few little blank patches, it just um, adds to the shading effect and makes them look a little bit more highlighted in places. This gives the hair a bit more of a rigid look and um, I'm going to pop a bit more shading um, onto that in places now. Um, so we just want to bring out areas like this. Maybe to get a bit of shadow, um, bring these bits out a little bit darker. At the top there, where the fringe obviously falls down here. Bring that top bit in just to emphasise our fringe piece here. Again down here. Okay, so that's given our hair hopefully a fairly stiff look um, but nonetheless still like hair um, so the last bit really is just to pop a bit more shading in um, on the lower half um, so we want some under the chin Well, that's dark enough so you don't lose the line of the chin there. Okay, put a bit along the neck of the uh, T-shirt as well. Darken that up just a bit more. And then it's entirely up to you which you want to be black and which you want to be 
white stripe wise, I think I'm going to go with the top layer. Being black. So um, what I'll do is I'll just cut again and shade that last bit in and then I'll come back at the end of the video. There we have it. It's, um, how to draw yourself in the Spur of a Tin Button. I hope you find uh, some of this or all of it helpful. Um, it'll be really interesting to see what people come up with. Thanks, bye for now.